Well, hey, 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 YouTube, and welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time on the platform, allow me to introduce myself to you all. My name is Triana, and you are tuned in to Unique Guidance to Freedom. That's right. We are a growing platform where we are helping individuals reach their full potential in life just by simply saying yes to yourself. And saying yes to yourself look like this. You're saying yes to yourself mentally, emotionally, socially, spiritually, and physically. So if you know that what I just said just resonated with you and you are new to the channel, do me a favor. I need for you to go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you can continue to get notifications when I have uploaded a new video. Furthermore, I want you to drop a comment. Get connected with me in the community at large because I want to know your thoughts. I want to know your testimonies because I love reading the comments. And another thing I want you to do, hit the share button because all love is never lost and you never know who you may be helping out there, okay? So hit the share button if you feel like the messages are resonating with you. And to my community, to the ones who have been subscribed to the channel, you know, as I always say, I, Triana, I am so proud of you. Why? Because you have been taking the initiative to say yes to yourself. And we know what that looks like. We know that it is a forever lifelong process, a forever lifelong journey. But we are taking the initiative to say yes to ourselves. You, me, we, the community all together, we are saying yes to ourselves and we are doing what it takes to get there, to continue to keep climbing and continue to keep evolving into our spiritual selves. So I am proud of you. Let's welcome in our new followers who have subscribed to the channel. I am glad that you subscribed to this channel and we're going to go ahead and jump right into the content for today, okay? We know today is a new day and I am back with a video. I am so glad to be amongst my beautiful community my brothers and sisters i love you all and we are in an epic time right now we are in a delightful time right now where a lot of people are waking up to themselves and they are doing the inner work they are going back healing tra uh, childhood traumas they are going back saying yes to themselves and they are really uh pulling out the dirty 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 they are walking into the good and they are facing all the challenges without being defeated so i am so proud of you guys i am glad that y'all are tuned in today um i am glad to be here amongst you guys now i know you guys like um okay tree you got these feathers popping up in your head so let me go ahead and tell y'all what this is before i go ahead and give the content or the message for today what these beautiful feathers are are feathers that I have found when I was out doing my five mile run. Um, I take my physical really, really, really serious um, in addition to all the other spiritual levels of my life. But I ran across these feathers as I was out on the lake running a track. And I have been finding a lot, a lot of feathers. Um, they just have been catching my eye now. Whether other people have been seeing them or not, when I'm running on the track, I just know that it just lures me in and it pulls me into these feathers. Now, for some of my people who are, are following the platform or to the newbies, if you don't know what these feathers represent, um, let me go ahead and read to you what these feathers represent, okay? Because I had to do my due diligence and look it up because we all know that nobody is perfect. Nobody knows everything. So you have to do your due diligence and you have to learn as you grow on this spiritual journey and that's what i'm finding out and that's the peculiar that's the most mysterious adventurous thing why we take this journey of deep diving into ourselves so feathers represents honor it represents truth strength wisdom it represents power and most importantly it represents the connection between the owner and the creator now, isn't that beautiful, my loves? That is very beautiful. So I think I owe it to myself to do diligently represent my feathers as I continue to navigate in my personal lifelong spiritual journey um, to do all my beautiful, uh, to expose all my beautiful gifts to serve all of humanity. So I'm going to lock and load these feathers with me as I take my journey because it's an honor that when I'm out paying my dues to get my physical right, 
because I know that the physical is intertwined with the spiritual, the mental, the emotional, the social, all of them intertwined together. When I'm out working out and I just run across something that just catch my eye spiritually, I'm going to partake in it. And you too, you should too, my brothers and sisters, do not take it lightly. It don't matter what people say. It don't matter what people think about what you're doing. We have to be uniquely different in our own way. And you have to take the journey. And I'm taking this journey and I feel damn good taking it. So if you're wondering, well, why your girl got these feathers? That's why I got these feathers. If some of you guys don't even know what they represent, this is what they symbolize, okay? Honor, trust, strength, wisdom, truth, and the connection between the owner and the creator him or herself okay so that is special to me so i said you know what i'm gonna go ahead and rock my feathers when i upload this video but without further ado you guys let me go ahead and chime into the message on today because as i was sitting outside today doing some reflection it came across my spirit to speak to you all about protecting your energy at all costs that's right we have to protect our energy at all costs and the reason why we have to protect our energy is because, again, if you go back and watch the previous video that I uploaded on yesterday about detaching from people, it's a lot of people out here who see your aura, they see what you are doing, and because you are doing the inner work, how you feel in the inside shows up on the outside. And because your light is shining so bright, the people are in a... Uh, in, all about what is he or she doing like i need to get closer to them it's like you're a magnet like you attract the good and the bad things to you okay so this is why it is so important that we protect our energy at all costs the first thing i want to talk about and i wrote some notes down if you see me looking to the side it's because i wrote some notes down because i want to um deep dive in some of the things that i say and sometimes my the way my brain can be wired because it's a computer program we all have computer programs how i just keep keep going having the notes can help keep me sustainable on the alignment and on the frequency and on the path that i'm trying to go you know would you, you know i could freestyle if i want to but i don't want to do that so we're just trying something new today so we're talking about protecting our energy at all costs and the first thing that resonated and came into my spirit and this is not nothing that i have read this is nothing that i had came across this is something that came all from within triana archie okay so the first thing you need to do when protecting your energy at all costs when you are protecting your energy at all costs this is the first thing you need to be aware of you're going to become stronger you're going to become courageous you're going to become bolder you're going to feel like you do not need to validate a damn thing to nobody you just don't and the more you continue to protect your energy at all costs, it shapes and it molds you to fall in alignment with your flaws. It shapes and it molds you to fall in alignment with your values. It shapes and it molds you to line in a value with your principles. And these are all the spiritual things that we need from the inside. We all need to face those weaknesses that we have down in the inside that we keep running from. A lot of people tend to want to run from their weaknesses, but your weaknesses is not there to harm you. It's only to show you that it can it makes you stronger. And if you face your weaknesses um, head on, that allows for you to navigate on your purpose and on your journey with boldness, with courageousness, with wisdom, with power, without looking for or soaring for or soaring for validation from external people. Because again, we talked about on that on the previous video. If you have not watched my video on yesterday, go back and watch that video about why it's important for you to detach from people. I talked about being codependent. Code depending on people you do not want to spend the rest of your life depending on people that is dangerous you are putting your life your fate your identity in somebody else's hand in order for them to control you and you are a divine 
spiritual individual who is here having a human experience and you have a gift that the world needs to see and we all have wonderful gifts we just need to tap into them more be ourselves be uniquely and you protecting your energy at all costs will allow for you the first thing first is, is to become more stronger and bolder in your principles your value and what's important to you the second thing you will become creative creative check it out Look at this. I just gave you guys a testimony about the feathers, the creativity. You walk into the knowing of who you are. You investigate, you seek, you search, you find out what it is that is attracting because we are magnets. You are attractified. You are a magnitude. You are going towards these things that you are peculiar about. When I was on the track, I could have easily overlooked these, these beautiful feathers i could have easily overlooked them but because of the magnitude and my frequency my vibration being in alignment with god the universe and nature my eyes caught glimpse to the feathers and that's when i got it and i knew it was a representation of something that the that my ancestor that god the creator wanted me to know and i knew it i knew it this is a part of my creativity. This is something that can't nobody take from you. You have to be in control of reprogramming your mind. You have to lock in into knowing and growing into your knowing. Knowing that what you say is truth. Knowing that what you say is purified. And the only way to get there is to protect your energy at all costs. The only way to get there is to know that your thoughts, your magnitude of thoughts is power. Think about everything that you have manifested in your life consciously or unconsciously i sit right here on the day and in, in, in my place of residency everything that i've got when i move into my place of rented residency the furniture the appliances that i got didn't even have like a dollar in my pocket and i got it see that's the power of creativity going back and thought and reflecting this is your natural birth given rights why is it your right because you you come from a source. You are the source. You are the resource. If the source is a glass of water and you have a glass and you're pouring the water in the glass, that means you are a part of the source that comes from that water that's going into the glass. So that makes you what the source has. You have to speak these things. You have to know these things. That's why it's important for you to protect your energy at all costs. The third thing the reason why you need to protect your energy at all costs because you build peace you build love you build happiness you build kindness you build joy and these are all the spiritual tools that comes already equipped in us that we need to tap into more without the distractions did I say that too fast? Let me repeat that, my brothers and sisters. These are the spiritual things, the love, the joy, the peace, the kindness, the harmony, the balance, the creativity, all these beautiful things that you need to protect your energy at all costs so you will not be reliant on the external world. This is very important, you guys. I need you guys to get out a piece of paper and I need you to write down these four processes to protecting your energy at all costs and, and and remind you these these steps came solely from my brain follicles nothing that i read nothing of none of that i was just sitting in meditation and i was doing some reflections and i took notes and i said it's time to spice it up a little bit on the channel and that's what we are doing because we are all connected i don't know who need to hear this message on today but it's resonating with your spirit i need for you to hit the like button Hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Drop me a comment and say, Triana, this is resonating with me. I needed these four steps. And the fact of the matter is, just don't write them down, but let's apply them. That's the application. Don't just write things down because we can easily write stuff down, read over it over and over and over. But you have to take applied action. You have to really harness in on what you are thinking positive things not the negative things you have to harness out all the self all the self concepts the external beliefs that's things that has been downloaded on you from youth age all the way up to your adulthood that you have carried into this this life that you are in now and you're trying to fix it that's why it's important for you to protect your energy at all costs because we are spiritual beings 
here having a human experience and this body is just an avatar it's just clay it has to be here to reside in this realm but in the inside how many of you ask yourself brothers and sisters how many of you have told yourself something over and over and over again and you didn't you, you said it over and over again but you really just didn't believe nothing that you were saying i can sit here and i can testify to that i can raise my hand to that because i used to be one of those ones but as i start to navigate these past few years on saying yes to myself on a mental emotional spiritual social physical level and 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 and, and deep diving into how all these things are interconnected together it pays me my due diligence it pays you your due diligence that's the honor that's the respect that you give yourself to lock in wholeheartedly on who you are as a spiritual being here because you have love in the inside of you you have trust in the inside of you you are powerful you have kindness in the inside of you you have happiness in the inside of you but because you are moving from an external realm, from a codependent realm, and you're trying to find yourself is so uncomfortable. So this is why it's important for you to isolate yourself for a certain duration of time. This is important for you. If you need to go get a motel room, take some time to yourself, take a few days off of work. You owe this due diligence for yourself because when you show up the best version of yourself, it shows up on the outside and you attract that to you. In spite of other people thinking and doing how they feel, that's them. It shows up for you, through you, and working for your greater good. So let's do this. The fourth thing is you become free. The last and foremost thing that came across my mind, you become free. You become free. And there is nothing more fulfilling than become free psychologically in your mind. The mind is a powerful tool. And you owe it to yourself to go back to do the inner work to reprogram your mind. Think of your mind as a computer. Everything that you are downloading on it is important. Your thoughts are the reflection of your reality. Everything that your current position that you are in right now, you thought that. You thought that to your reality. And that is the truth. A lot of us may be like, Triana, well, how are you going to say I thought to get beat up? How you? Whatever you're thinking, your consumptions, we are a magnet. This is for you to go back, my brothers and sisters, to do the deep dive and do the healing. You are a magnitude. Listen to that word, mag. You know how magnets, y'all remember them little magnets where they just come together? You are a magnet. Your thoughts are magnifying your reality. Write that in the comment. Triana, my thoughts are magnifying my reality. And that's why it's important for you to speak life over yourself. Speak truth over yourself. Speak love over yourself. Speak kindness to yourself. Wake up every morning and tell yourself you are enough. Tell yourself you are beautiful. And keep doing it until you and keep doing it. Until you actually believe it. Because guess how the universe works. The universe don't go off of that feeling and all that stuff, stuff and all that, 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 that. It goes off of what your thoughts. It picks up on your thoughts. Whether it's good or whether it's bad. If you say you want to be rich, live like you're rich. Be rich. Be rich. You can't have this limitless mindset. And this is the shift that we are all, a lot of people want wealth. They want money. They want the external things. But honest, honest, honest to the creator, the source, infinite intelligent energy, whatever you want to call it. God, in order to get there, you got to do the inner work. And guess what, my brothers and sisters? Ain't nobody coming to save you. You got to save you. That's the magnitude of the source of who you come from. Your power, your mobility, your gifts, your strengths, your weaknesses, your flaws and all. This is you. Take it. Suck it up. Self-awareness, self-reflection. Did I say that? Did I do that? Casting down those negative thoughts. Type this in the comment because I don't know who this is for, but it's resonating with you. Casting down those negative thoughts. I am powerful. Keep saying it until you know it. Until you know it. Until it resonates and download on your subconscious mind. 
Because believe you me, because you done spent so many years. I don't know your age, but you have years of consumption of self-concept. That's belief systems. What you was raised up on, your cultural beliefs, how you were raised, what you think, and all that stuff. When spirit comes to you divine, divinely, wholeheartedly, and tell you who you are and you feel it down in your soul, because you are so dependent on external things, the spirit is right there trying to wake up. You don't even believe what's going on in the inside of you, and that is dangerous. You would rather go to external validations than to believe what you believe in the inside, and that's what we're getting at today. Who cares what people think? Who cares what people think? I have to be me. Type this in the comment. This is for somebody on the day. You have to be you. I have to be me, Triana. Triana going to be her regardless. One life here on this realm. Why not be me? Why not be abundant? Why not be free? Why not get wisdom and knowledge? Get that first and watch how the magnitude of wealth attracts to you. Type that in the comment. Get wisdom. Get knowledge. By knowing thyself. Speaking positivity to yourself. You got to cast down the self-concept, the, the, the cultural beliefs that you were raised into that has been self 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 that has been uh, self 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 ties you all this time. And I might have said that word wrong. It's a tongue twister. Self-sabotaging. That's what I meant to say. All these cultural beliefs that has been self-sabotaging you. You believe what your mama say. You believe what your daddy said. You believe what your kids said. You believe what your pastor said. Oh, this is for somebody on the day. Hit that like button. You believe in them. You don't realize how much you spend so much of your time believing all these external people and casting down yourself. You don't even believe yourself. That's why what you want is not being attracted to you. Because you don't even believe you. Somebody else got your fate at, their, at the palm of their hands. Somebody else have your identity at the palm of your hands. We got to let this go, brothers and sisters, and we are in this together. That's why I'm putting these videos out here and going to continue to. I know I said what I said on some of the last videos, but look, it's a new creative season. We got to keep growing into our knowing. We got to walk it how we talk it. Write that in the comment. I vow. I'm not just one of these ones sitting up here because I live in California or I live in such and such X, Y, Z, just putting stuff out here to be doing to give people what they want to hear. No, I said that I am going to be the representation to my tribe, my brothers, my sisters. I'm going to walk it how I talk it. When I don't want to get up in the morning and go work out, I go work out. Now, I'm just using that as an as, as an example because that was how it was in the past. But now it's a part of me now, so it's easy peasy. We got to over jump these hurdles. Sometimes it's uncomfortable in the beginning, but you have to keep going. You have to trust in yourself. You have to know thyself. You have to weed out all toxicity. And that looks like what? Protecting your energy at all costs. Biblically speaking, because a lot of people are biblically, biblically, and I'm not a religious person. I operate from spirit. Spirit does not have a religion. Spirit is all knowing. Where is my knowing? It goes back to the example that the illustration that I gave about the water pouring it into the cup. I am a I I me we you are a part of a divine creator that says you come fully equipped with all these strange things. And when you get older, you become wiser. So it's up to you to start tapping into who you are and, and go with your knowing. Go with your truth. I'm not here to change nobody else's truth. I'm not here to do that. No. I'm just here to tell you to protect your energy at all costs. Walk into your knowing. Let your light shine. Do what you need to do. Walk into your purpose. Do what, do what is fulfilling for you. Who cares? Nobody is perfect. You're going to make the mistakes. But guess what? Mistakes are not bad. It's only for you to what? Grow into your knowing. Type that in the comment. Grow into my knowing. It's only for you to grow into your knowing, but you can only get there if what? 
if you are aware. And what does aware look like? Self-awareness, self-affirmation, self-reflection. That's the only way I was able to navigate and pick up on these beautiful things. My honor, my strength, my power. You got that power over me. Shout out to Kevin Gates. <laughs> yeah, the power. We got that power. So you got to do you. Protect you at all costs, man. Be your authentic self. Nobody is like somebody else. We may have similarities, but I am not like you. You are not like me, but we all come from the divine source. Lock in your powers. Let's take these frequencies, these energies, these, vib these vibrations to another level. I know, when I, I know what I see when I see when I see what I see. Do you know what you see when you see what you see when you see? Mm, 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 mm. Again, I know what I see when I see what I see. And I ain't talking about the five senses. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Do you know what you see what you see when you see what you see? Yeah. Okay, so those are the four steps to protecting your energy at all costs that came from my, my brain alone. And I'll go over them real quick. The first step is, write these down. You will become more stronger, more bolder, more courageous. You will become creative, more creative, walking into your natural gift, your purpose. You will build peace, love, kindness, joy, happiness, all these things that come fully equipped with you. You already got it. They're just dormanted. You got to wake them up. You got to ignite. Light that fire. Light it. And number four, you will become free. So write these things down. And don't just write them down and keep reading them over and over. No. I want you to take action. Applied action. Reflect. Go within. Cry out if you got to. Hell, I do it occasionally. It's okay. Tears are the flow of joy, releasing, strength, power. Stepping into grand, grand horizons. It's okay. But protect your energy at all costs, family, okay? That's it. That's all. If you know that this video resonated with you, do me a favor. Go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell and drop me a comment. Drop me a comment. Let me know your thoughts on how to protect, on, on how you feel about protecting your energy at all costs in the four-step process. And give me a testimony because I love reading the testimonies. You guys, we are in this together. No love is lost. No love is lost. We are all connected to the source. And guess what? I love you all. Most importantly, love yourself. Until the next video, y'all know what to do. Lock in on these principles, lock in on these steps, and take applied actions. Protect your energy at all costs. Peace.